welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing another haul i haven't done one for a couple of weeks and i've seemed to accumulated quite a few bits of items or clothes and stuff so sorry about this background i know the tv is literally behind my head and it's a really ugly shot yet to find a proper filming um space background whatever yeah because i'm in my new room and i'm back for um back from uni so yeah excuse that anyway i'm just going to be showing you a bunch of things that i've got over the past month or two and yeah i hope you enjoy so i'm gonna do this in a very random order because i've just trapped a load of clothes on my bed to show um anyway some have tags in some don't so excuse that so the first thing i got is from zara um, it's just one of these bodysuits, looks like this, and I did actually, I think I showed this in my last haul, um, a black one, but I just got exactly the same one but in white because why not, I feel like I need this. Um, and this was 12 99 and I got this in size small. The next thing I got from Zara is white top. Now I love things that um, thread at the bottom all like peplum. Um, so I had to get this. This was only um, 7 99 and I got it in a size small. And yeah, I think they had these in different colours as well. They definitely had a black. The next thing I got was this hoodie. Now, this is a plain, um, what do you call it, stone colour, like brown um, hoodie. It doesn't have any drawstrings and it doesn't have a pouch. Um, but I thought this was a really nice colour. It was only 15 99 from Zara. So I thought, why not? Um, they have these in loads of different colours as well. Also got the same hoodie, but in white. I'm not sure if I showed this in my last haul, but I'm just going to quickly show it now. It's this plain black, um, plain black? Plain beige um, corduroy shirt. I've got so much wear out of this. Um, it's actually insane. I always wear it open or I'm yet to wear it like all buttoned up and stuff like that. But oh my god, I love this. It was 19.99 and I got this in a size small. And because I wore that so much, I invested in another one. And I've literally worn this equally as much. They also do have this in like a rose colour, a pinky colour and um, like a dark forest um, green colour. Next I picked up this plain pyjama top. It just says thank you next on. Obviously it's from the Ariana Grande section or like merch bit. I also really wanted the bottoms to this but they didn't have them in my size which I was really sad about but this was actually in the sale for £3 reduced from like 5 so I really love that. Next I picked up this crop top. Now I really wanted like to join the organza sort of trend so i saw this top in new look well, that's a lie i saw it online on asos and it basically has short puffy sleeves you can wear it like up or off the shoulder and it's like a ribbed material and this was only 12.99 and i got this in a size 10. um i do recommend in like new look you go up a size I'm not sure if it's just me but um i feel like the size 10 fits me way better than an 8 would just because it's quite tight like here and here i don't know i just recommend sizing up also from asos on new look i picked up this um plain pink roll neck um i really wanted a long roll neck that would like cover my hip like cover down to my hips because i wanted to wear them with my leather leggings and like docks for example so i feel like that's a really nice look um it's like a really soft material as well, like soft touch, which I really liked. And I think this was around £15, I want to say. Next is this plain black top with long sleeves. This is from Pull and Bear and it has like a zip here. I've seen these around for ages, but the ones I've seen are with collars and this doesn't have like a collar, if you know what I mean. So I thought this looks really nice on and this was only 12 99 Also from Pull and Bear, I picked up this um, play suit. Um, it looks like a dress at the top. And it looks like this. You can obviously wear it with a top or without a top, but I wear it with a top. Um, the only thing is it really like 
gapes here on me and it's in a size small. From Opoly I picked up this plain, not plain, this lime colour crop top. Um, it has ruching on the sleeves and down the main of the top. It looks really ugly like this and it just crosses over. Um, yeah, I got this in a size A. This is actually quite tight um, on myself. Um, I probably should have sized up to a 10 because I feel like Opoly stuff comes up really small. Not sure if it's just me. Yeah, it still fits. I'll still wear it. Um, I got this because it was only in the sale for £10 and I just liked it and I feel like I would wear it a lot with like, jeans. They also did come with a skirt but I thought I'd wear the top much more. From Topshop I picked up these um, plain black joggers. Um, I do have these exact same pair of joggers but it has a white strip down the side. Um, the only difference is these don't. But I wear them so much and I picked up another pair because I also wear them equally as much and I love joggers. And they're so cool. I forgot to mention this pull and bear dress um, was around £17.99 just for reference um and these joggers were 18 pounds also from Topshop, i picked up this plain pink bodysuit um it's just got long sleeves and like a square neck and i thought this would be really good for the winter because obviously it's got long sleeves and yeah i love this i wear it literally all the time when i go i think this was around 14 pounds and they also had them in other different colors so obviously that means I have to pick it up in another colour. Um, this is like a creamy white, I want to say. Um, it's been washed, so I feel like it was white, but now it's just a bit creamy. Or it does look white, I'm not sure. Maybe it's just my eyesight. Also from Topshop, I picked up this um, cropped denim jacket. Um, it like is cut off here, I think it's called like Hacked. Um, where it has like fraying detail at the bottom, which I quite like. Um, yeah, it looks really nice on with literally any denim. Like, you can wear this with a different colour blue denim or black. Literally anything and it look really nice. And I feel like it really, like, puts an outfit together as well. Um, got this in a size 8 and this was £39. Um, I also got this in a black as well. Um, I think I might have shown that. If I didn't, it's literally exactly the same as this but black. Next, from ASOS, I picked up this um long grey cardigan i really wanted a long cardigan and i saw this and i thought it was perfect i did actually get this in the sale i think it was 15 pounds um or around that mark anyway um that's the brand i'm pretty sure it wasn't called brave salt on it but it just has a tag um i got this in a size small and yeah not much to say it's got pockets as well now this is very random but i saw someone on instagram wear this and she looked really nice in it and i thought why not and get the same one um this this is a shirt dress from miss pap i got this in a size eight and i would wear this with a belt and maybe like a bralette underneath or like um plain white top but i think i'm more likely to wear this in the springtime yeah this was 16 pounds i paid for it i think from pretty little thing i picked up this um green bodysuit i originally saw molly main wear this in one of her instagram posts and i just got it because of that basically um but no this really does look nice on i don't have a color like this and i think this is just really different and yeah it's a nice high neck ribbed bodysuit and I think this was £12. From Misguided, I picked up these grey joggers. They're just their basic joggers. Um, I did originally try the Pretty Little Thing ones, but they were too short on my legs. And these Misguided ones fit me perfectly and they look really nice on as well. I also have them in a khaki colour as well. So I thought I'd put them up in the grey as well. Um, and these were £16. And my bargain of this whole haul was this little co-ord. Now, I saw Kylie Jenner wear this originally. I think it was a part of the Stassi collection on Misguided. And they, I got an email from Misguided saying this went down to 250 
for each thing. So like five pounds all together for this cord basically. And I got it in a size eight, it's really nice on, especially with a tan. Um, be aware when I try this on, I don't have a tan currently. Next I picked up these classic Nike Air Force trainers. Um, I have worn these a little bit, but I'm trying to keep them really clean. Um, I got these from Foot Locker and they were doing 25% off at the time and I managed to fit into the kid size because I'm a size 6 and I got these for £40 which I thought was a bargain. They're normally 50 which even that I don't think is bad for these trainers. I feel like everyone has these. Can't really go wrong with them really. Um, I also got another pair of trainers. These are like the fourth or third or fourth pair of white leather converse I've bought but um literally I wear these every single day basically um so I had to get another pair and yeah these are originally £60 um and yeah not really much to say but I love these and you really can't go wrong now the start of the show hallelujah okay I am so chuffed with this, like, you don't even realise. Um, I made a big purchase. So, I picked up um, my first ever designer bag. I'm not sure if I'll ever buy another one. But um, I've been eyeing this bag up for about two years. Like, do you know when you have that screenshot on your phone and it's just sitting there and you just... Yeah, anyway. Um... I'm gonna do a little unboxing for you guys. Woo! So, I picked up this bag from Louis Vuitton. Um, I went to London and I went to Harrods. I wasn't actually planning on buying this. Um, I was just asking to see if they had it out of curiosity. The one in Sloane Street didn't, but in Harrods it did. Um, so I went up to Shoe Heaven and bought it because I went downstairs but it was just so busy. Um, anyway, I'm so happy with this. Um, it's the Alma BB in the, I don't even know how to say this design, it's like Damier or something. It came with like a lock as well and I've just put it on the front, I'm not even sure. Oh, you can lock it through there, I didn't even know that. Um, but yeah, it has like the keys and the tag. I mean, you've probably seen an unboxing or go check out an unboxing if you want to. Um, it's really annoying because this bag was um, originally, I don't even want to say the price, it was £855 um, like a couple months ago but they've recently put it up to 915 which is unfortunately the price I had to pay even though 855 is pretty, pretty damn expensive. Um, it also comes with a strap which I will probably be wearing at most. Um, times with the strap um but I also wear wear it like this for like a dressier occasion but um I've literally I can't even explain to everyone like it's like so I have a black to big bag this is it and that cost me about 150 and I've literally got my like cost per wear out of it and I've had it for about four or five years and I definitely wanted to invest in like a side bag because I've been like wearing side bags a lot for like the past year or two and this um i have my own for ages it's like a nice side bag and i'm so happy i could finally get my hands on it because it's always out of stock online as well um and they only had two of these two of these left in basically the whole of london well not the whole of london in the whole of harrods um but yeah i'm so happy with this some people may think it's a waste, that's okay. I think it's a great investment. I'll have it for life. So that is my haul done. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, please comment down below what your favorite thing was. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you are new and there'll be more videos very soon. Thank you and bye-bye. <laughs>